let's jump into our The Way and Not the Way for the Week. And um, this week, I'm really glad that both of us um, were able to reach out and find somebody to help um, contribute to our discussion today because, of course, we've always got stuff that's the way and not the way, but we love to hear about what else people have going on that's grinding their gears or that they want to celebrate. So, yeah, so um, I'm going to start off with my not the way because this one is for me personally, and then we can share the space. Um, But I'm going to try to keep this one also as PG as I can. Um, I had the most amazing dream the other night. And the person that it was with was actually very, really very random. Like this model influencer person that like I kind of know in person, but not really. Girl, it was random. No, I'll, I'll show you her later. But it was so random. I was like, why am I dreaming of this person? Anyways, we were like having a great time. We were running the city. We were on a date. And like everything was going really really well until all of a sudden it just like wasn't like we get back to like a safe space and we're like one thing lead to the other you know we're getting ready to kind of like you know hook up or whatever and um you know how guys um do that like when you guys are kissing and like there's that joke like them pushing your like head down so that you can perform, you know, fellatio or whatever. Uh, Yes. So this person started doing that. She wanted me to give her a kiss on the lips. And I was like, totally here for it. And then I just like, literally some, I froze. Like literally my mouth was just like stuck, hinged open and I couldn't do anything. So like in my dream, I'm literally just like in this person's area and my mouth is just like, ah, 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 ah couldn't do anything and it's like shaking because I can't even close it I'm trying so hard to close my mouth and it just wouldn't so I just remember being so like embarrassed and shamed and like you know I think she just like got up and left in a hurry like yeah and I just remember waking up being like really so now I'm like questioning my skills because why would I even dream about something like that? Like this was supposed to be a good dream and it turned out to be like, is that a nightmare? <laughs> is that considered a nightmare? It could be. So that's not the way for me. It's not a um, dream. Right. <laughs> you know, I definitely don't dream about stuff like that. Like, um, so that's definitely not the way for me. I'm all in my head about it now. And I wish that I could just like, hey, can I test this theory out on <laughs> you to like, you know, but anyways, no, I have nobody to test this theory on moving up, moving along. Definitely not the way definitely has me scarred. Um, <laughs> and moving on to my, the way, um, and this actually did come from our listener. His name is Marshall, um, AKA the Darsh underscore two Oh six on IG. Um, and he's actually sent us a couple set things before, but He sent us one that actually kind of made me ponder. He said, flossing your teeth daily is definitely the way. And at first I didn't think much about it, but then I started having, you know, flashbacks to people at the club and just- Do you have dreams about that too? (laughs) Kenny, yeah, you'd be surprised about the kind of things that I dream about. But like, I just, I I totally am on board with this because I agree. It's like, you know, brushing and flossing your teeth should go hand in hand. And if your flossing habits are not in line with your brushing habits, then that means that you're probably also not brushing your teeth well. Um, So I'm sure he probably ran into someone who was all up in his face, smiling. You know, he works at the gym. He is a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. So he's dealing with people often. And I'm sure this person probably had some kind of lettuce or grain or pepper stuck all up in their teeth and and also like as a professional there's a polite way to be like hey you know you got something in your tooth but you being the person that has something in your tooth it's not always easy to get it out especially with no mirror and you're not not just gonna like sit there sucking on your teeth digging your fingers up in your teeth it's like it's embarrassing because you have to stop what you're doing try to find some floss go to a mirror and then dig in your mouth to get it out so I get it. Floss every day on your own in private so that people do not have to tell you to your face and embarrass you. 
hey, but if you just ate a sandwich, that's hard to do sometimes, you know? Like, say you ate something, then you went to the gym, and now you got something all up in your teeth. Let me know, because I would rather that know that than part. to be walking around Call with something courtesy. in my teeth. Call you know courtesy. what I'm saying? Because you know people just be sitting there staring at it, too. And I'm like, let me know. Oh, so right. you going to let me walk around looking crazy. Especially Ooh. if you're, like, laughing and having a good time, thinking you're all cute. And like you look, it's like somebody's like, oh, you got sent more. You're like, how long? I have not For eaten how- in two hours. Right. Wha- right. How long has this been on my tooth? Right. Oh, okay. So you haven't got my back. Okay. Right. I'm going to remember that next time. <laughs> she fake. <laughs> she fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Flush, flossing your teeth definitely is going to be the way. Please do it daily. Um, if you brush your teeth in the morning, do it in the morning. If you brush your teeth at night, do it at night. If you brush your teeth, both at morning and night, which you should be doing, <laughs> do it both times as well. <laughs> I am weak. Thank you for that, Marshall. Um, always need daily reminders for good hygiene. Yes. Um, I'm gonna kick off with my the way for the for the week. Um, I also got my the way from an IG friend. This is from Chris, aka C Kid 206. Shout out to Seattle. Okay, we had both of them with 206s in their hands. Oh, we did. Look at you guys. Yes, hey. What's good? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so he said, "What's the way for him the week is buying clothes and shoes from black owned businesses." only oh that's a good now, one it's a really good one and i know probably like a year ago we were making a very conservative effort of like trying to support other black businesses and sharing them on our page but it's also a really great reminder also a really hard task so i commend him it is a really <laughs> hard task but the other thing that i want to think that i want to point out too is i feel like when we were doing this it was definitely centered around like black history month Mm-hmm. when like it was just inundated with with that oh, yeah. kind of stuff you know everywhere yeah 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 yeah. so it was easier then to be like oh look at all these black brands i can just <laughs> and and the whole like amplify melanated voices yeah. that hashtag like that made it easy yeah like there was a point in time last year where it was really easy to find black owned businesses now and it's like you know you do i i do like to frequent a black owned restaurant like that's always the way like fats and uh catfish corner like Mm -hmm. those are the spots in seattle love those places but i wanted to also just name a few of the brands that i like to use that are actually black owned so i use pattern hair by tracy ellis ross yes love the brand um makes my hair so soft yeah love her she's hilarious Mm -hmm. Um, Savage X Fenty, the lingerie and the makeup brand. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Like I just gonna... became a, fa- a Fenty girl. Yeah. So did. we are going to talk about the fashion show later, but also I recently got a new like liquid eyeliner from her uh, makeup brand and I love it. Like yeah. I haven't found one that I loved like this. Like it makes me, <gasps> it makes making a wing so much easier. Ooh, can I pop one in here too? Since we're talking about black makeup. Sure. That Juvia's Place. Oh yes. Juvia's Place. And they carry, Juvia's Place is at like uh, Ulta. You can yes. find them usually at like those places. Juvia's Place is another very black owned um, makeup, makeup brand. And they specialize As- in like melanated people. And all yes. That. And if we're throwing out makeup, Minted Cosmetics, I've not tried it, but I've been dying to get one of their mm. lip- lipsticks because they mm-hmm. have really great nudes as well. Um, and then one last one I wanted to add is Uzo Art. Um, she's an, uh, that's her Instagram name. So if you look her up on Instagram, it's just Uzo.Art. And um, she's an African artist that I found on Instagram about a year ago. And I just really, really resonated with her artwork. She created a shop, so she sells merchandise now, and she puts her artwork on different things. Um, I've purchased two phone cases now that have her art. I actually have one now. Um, This one's kind of hard to see for anybody watching on video, but it's basically just a picture of a bunch of Black people walking, like in Mm. business outfits, but Mm. it's outlines of them. And then what you can see in color are their faces. So yeah, I just, um, my last one was a case of a Black woman, like, at a pool and I liked that one because I like to travel and I like to go to beaches. So I felt like that was a picture of me on the back of mm. my phone. <laughs> so that's um, that's another one that I definitely think you guys should check out. She's got big pieces. She's got pattern work that she does. Like her stuff's really cool. 
um, and it's a small business and, you know. Um, can you spell Uzo Art for those that want to yes. look her up? U-Z-O. U-Z-O. That sounds uh, Nigerian. It is. Yeah? Cool. Yes. All right. Cool. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Making up for my uh, country accent earlier. <laughs> 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 so that's the way for the week. Definitely, um, if you have a chance, try to support a Black-owned business. Mm-hmm. If you're looking to buy something new, see if there's something, um, if there is a Black creator out there or small business out there that can supply that for you. I know for me personally, um, I love, I have, we have a friend out here that has her own like online boutique called shop dream luna that's black owned and i actually like if i'm looking for new things i go to her website first and if i don't find something on there that i like then i'll go like other places but i definitely start there first because support and buy black always yes Yes. (laughs) um and then my not the way for the week you guys we're going political again because has it ever been the way really right um (laughs) (laughs) what America is almost out of money. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) Dun, dun, dun. So according to CNN, um, and this has been a developing story, like it kind of broke about a month ago, but has been rapidly evolving. Um, the The Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned lawmakers that the federal government will likely run out of cash and extraordinary measures by October 18th. That's what? about three weeks away. What and does le- extraordinary measures mean? So basically they need to raise the debt ceiling in order for us to not default on our, on the money that we owe. That we so, owe China? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just banks in general. I got like, you. No, I got but, you. Cause I, I was like, who do we owe money to? But in general, it's like all the money that we as Americans are borrowing comes from somewhere. Oh. And we're not paying them back because of everything that's going on. Well, pause. I am. <laughs> I mean, excuse me. <laughs> but you are one out I of know. how many I million. Yeah, and also, gotcha. you got to think of all the people who are still, you know, looking yeah. for a place to live. I mean, I was just going to say have jobs. I was just going to say that eviction memorandum just just lifted. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's mm. like there's a lot going on as yeah. to why this would be happening. So it went through the house yesterday. But now that's got to go to the Senate. And guess who Ugh. the Senate majority still is? Mitch McConnell. I hate this old turtle man. Okay, and he's already said he's not doing it. He's not going to raise the debt ceiling. Probably he said because the Democrats have to do it themselves, which I'm like, I don't know. Does he not understand that, that mean. we can't do that without you, though? Exactly. Like, if that's what you want us to do, you guys have to meet us in the middle. It, and which that's why, it. Which is why we're doing this in the first place. Do you what? Sir. Yes. Sir. So some direct quotes that I just wanted to read to kind of like frame the severity of the situation. Um, the new estimate from the Treasury Secretary raises the risk that the U.S. could default on its debts in a matter of weeks if Washington fails to act. A default would likely be catastrophic, tanking markets and the economy and delaying payments, delaying payments mm. to millions of Americans, meaning people aren't going to get paid. No, real quick. Is this like... This is like even for regular jobs? Not regular jobs, but like federal, military. Oh, okay. But okay. however, wait on this because mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there that are other good. things that are funded by this, okay? So um, um, obviously there's other things funded like state funding, state aid, all this kind of stuff. Um, there was a memo that was circulating the White House last week that, um, that was for state and local officials. And it listed several key programs that would be halted if Congress fails to increase the debt limit. Those things include disaster relief efforts, FEMA, oh, Lord. Medicaid and the Children's Health Insurance Program, infrastructure funding, education, public health, and child nutrition. Okay, so pause. I also heard that SNAP could also be in, uh, in the line of fire. Okay, so here's what we need to do first and foremost. Wait a minute. Oh, jeez. There's more. Oh, jeez. The ensuing market <laughs> meltdown could also crash the retirement savings of countless families and jack up the cost of borrowing for mortgages, car loans, and businesses of all sizes. Okay, stop. So I'm pulling out my 401k now and putting it and putting an offer in on a property tomorrow. I'm look, doing this now. <laughs> look, 
Girl, when I read that part, I was oh, like, stop, no, 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 hold no. the presses. Stop everything. I Stop the madness. I'm over it. I don't want to hear anything else. It sounds terrible. No, so here's the thing. When it comes to like, <laughs> On a serious note, when it talk when you're talking about like you know how it might stop you know Medicaid food st stamps and all that kind of stuff, disaster or whatever, relief. It's like, these are literally things that help keep human beings alive and yeah. well, and like these are things that we really do need to be prioritizing over. No offense, infrastructure. I understand if infrastructure is literally about to like crumble and stuff, that's different. But like, please understand that we need to prioritize human lives and wellness over anything else. Also, yeah, like disaster, disaster relief efforts. Like we have Emma, control over any disasters that happen, but, natural you know, disasters. But here's the other thing. It's like, you know, with this, what the South just endured with the hurricane and then the East Coast that had to deal with the after effects, like all that disaster relief. What if we right. finally get the big one over here and, you know, the tectonic plates just shift all of a sudden and yeah half of the state is just in the pacific <laughs> like yeah you're just gonna say oh we can't fund we can't do efforts, we can't guys. deal with sorry. that right now yeah sorry we're still working on budgeting over here in the white house but you so, guys thoughts and prayers so <laughs> start to go find me <laughs> <laughs> so now those are just estimates but the Senate has to do something now. Yeah. They do think that, you know, with all of the things that are stacked against them, um, they will do the right thing. They've done it before. They've done it, I think, 78 or 79 other times they've raised the debt ceiling. So I don't know what the problem is this time when it seems like it could be catastrophic. I think they just want to blame the Democrats. That's what oh, it is. Oh, they absolutely do. Yeah. Oh, they absolutely do. And and then you have to also think about the fact that they're trying to pass like a trillion dollar, like really another bill so that people can get stimulus checks and all this other stuff. So they're probably like, you know, you're going to have to get rid of that if we're going to. It's got to be one or the other. You know, like they're <laughs> they're going to try and play like negotiation game. And you know what? Honestly, fix this issue because it sounds a hot freaking Thank mess. Thank you. Yeah. Human life. I'm, I'm sorry. At the end of the day, like. And as much as I would love another stimulus check, at the end of the day, please take care of those that are less fortunate than I am. Like, absolutely, I'm somebody who tech, like you guys, I'm considered poverty level, I'm pretty sure at this point. Like, so considering the fact that that's where I am, there are people who are worse off than I am who literally need and, and survive off of these kinds of like benefits. Please understand that that needs to get prioritized and fixed. I know they probably can't hear me, and I know they're probably not listening to this, but please find it in the goodness of your hearts to do the right thing. I'm serious. Please, Mitch McConnell, get your <laughs> head out of your booty hole. Behind. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I cannot stand him. I, I also have choice words for him that I can't say on here. I normally don't call him by his name, if you know what I mean. It's Mitch, but with a B. Okay, period. <laughs> Like get Period. like get him out of this like get him out I'm of saying, the Senate. I honestly thought you guys and I again I don't wish this upon people, but I really thought that like they were worried about his health at some point last year, and I had the slightest bit of hope that his health was declining so that he would have to step down. And again, I'm not proud of that. <laughs> I'm not. But here he is. Still messing Still things ruining up. Still ruining things. Yes. <laughs> like, sir. Like, go have several seats, sir. Right. Like, you, like, here's the thing. On top of what you just said, like, maybe he should be chilling. I feel like his you job is me? too stressful for his age and how Thank his you. health is. Thank you. Like, go, go on retirement or something. I don't do you, know. Do you remember when they showed a picture of Obama side by side for when he first took office versus when he left office. Yes. That was only eight years, okay? And yes. he was much younger than Mitch. So yes. I can only imagine what eight years has done to Mitch McConnell in this position. You know what I'm saying? Take a beat, sir. Take a beat. Yeah. Retire. Like, we would totally be fine if you decided to retire. Yeah, retire, <laughs> take a nap somewhere. Go to Martha's Vineyard. We won't say anything. Literally, we'll leave you alone to we'll just retire a, in peace. We will start a GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> if right. you do that. A petition to, 
It's like a GoFundMe to help fund your retirement. If you, if that's, if that's what your issue is. To send Mitch McConnell on a forever vacation, right. PTO. Don't come back. Don't worry about us. We got it. Okay, so we're <laughs> exiling him at this point. That's what we're no, doing. It's, not a, it's a vacation. He just cannot come back to send it. Don't come back to work. <laughs> we got you covered. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so that is not the way for the week. No. Um, I mean, obviously, America running out of money, like that just an entire country not having enough money, like we might default on our debts. That's crazy. Like I'm over here worried about like, oh, I could default if I buy a house, not thinking about the whole country defaulting on the debts that we owe. So and I only brought up China earlier just because there's always this like running joke that we borrow so much money and everything from China that we technically like in the event of any states needing to defect we're giving them to China yeah <laughs> like that's the running joke so that's the only reason why I brought that up earlier because yes. yeah they really help us like China and us are frenemies like we both understand that we have value for each other but we do not like each other <laughs> at all I am weak Yes. So that is our the way and not the way of the week. Please, you guys, let us know what you thought about those in our comments, in our DMs, wherever you want to hit us up, let us know. And also, if you want to let us know what is the way and not the way for you next week, please DM us on at the way Jazz and Tay on Instagram, at the way JT on Twitter. You can also go and submit it to our contact us form on www.thewayjtpod.com. Or shoot, email us, thewayjt at gmail.com. Just get at us. Let us know what's the way and not the way for you next week. And stay tuned. We're going to jump into a quick two to three minute break. You're listening to The Way with Jazz and Tay. Until this 